SMILE stands for Sunrise Monitors Individual Learning Experiences. SMILE is an acronym that we use here at Sunrise for a student assistance program. SAP is a program that exists in most schools across the state. The goal of the SMILE program is to support the students to become successful in school, whether it is due to academic, behavioral, social, or emotional needs. The SMILE program benefits students who have obstacles that they need to overcome that either helps their academic performance or they have social or emotional development issues that we can help with. The program also provides students with a person to talk to um, if they are feeling overwhelmed in a particular area or it just helps them have a friendly face in the hallway if they're having a really difficult day. My role as the school counselor here at Sunrise and as part of the SMILE team is to provide individual counseling to the students that might be identified through the program. They might also be part of one of my groups that I do and I provide additional resources um, to the students and also to the SMILE team as needed. I attend all meetings as an advisory to the meetings and I also do a, uh, screenings for the possibility of further evaluation for uh, counseling along the lines of possibly mental health issues or even drug and alcohol. I work with a team to help monitor uh, student progress to determine who should be evaluated for special education. I also participate in parent meetings, run behavior and achievement screenings, and offer resources and intervention suggestions to the team. I'm the nurse here at Sunrise four days a week. Um, my role in a smile is to uh, be aware of each of the children if they have a medication, their dosage, they may have health problems that everybody is not aware of. They may be into the nurse's office frequently, whether it's injuries, emotional issues. It is my role to add that to our information to see if there's anything we can do to help them. My role within the team is to help facilitate the team meetings, as well as provide the most current data to all the, the teachers and staff that attend the team meetings. There are many ways that a student can be referred to the SMILE team. One of them is a referral can come from the teacher of the student, from the parent or another family member, from a counselor or a principal, from the nurse, even from themselves, or from a student who is worried about them so they can refer another student. They can do so by locating the bulletin board outside of the office. On the bulletin board, there are two envelopes with color-coded referral forms. Upon completion of the referral form, you can turn it into the box located on the bulletin board. You can also turn in your referral form to any SMILE team member. Remember that any SMILE team member has a smiley face outside of their door. The box is checked often by a SMILE team member so that any new referrals are covered immediately at our next meeting. Once parent permission is received, we can then begin discussing recommendations based on the individual's needs. As a parent or guardian, you are also encouraged to take an active role in the SMILE process. By doing these things, we hope to ensure student success. Confidentiality is always a top priority between all parties involved in our SMILE program. Confidentiality is respected and maintained in the best interest of all students involved.